Ladies and gentlemen, the Shrek Gaming Telecom video, we're going to be talking all about Pascal, which is, of course, NVIDIA's new entry into the GeForce lineup. It's fair to say that at this point, anticipation for both Polaris and Pascal is reaching fever pitch. Maybe not quite fever pitch, but there's certainly a lot of uh, anticipation there. Let's face it, we've been waiting for the next generation of GPUs for some time. To give you some context, the GTX 980 and the GTX 970 both launched back in September of 2014 which is actually pretty ancient when you consider graphics card technology and how fast it has evolved previously. So, we all have known that Nvidia have been brewing up something. They've been, they've been toiling away. So the latest rumor has it that Nvidia are gearing up for Com Computex and they are going to be launching the next generation of cards, that would once again be Pascal, with a hard launch, theoretically, with their AIB partners, so we should actually see what they've been working on, we should see the specifications of the card, we should see the cooler, we should see it theoretically in live in action, and that's being reported by Swee Clockers. Now, most of this stuff is not particularly surprising. We know that NVIDIA have been waiting to launch Pascal for some time. As I just mentioned, by this point, um, by the time of uh, Computex, the GPUs, which they currently have on the market, would have coming up to two years old, which once again is pretty old uh, in the grand scheme of things. So what are we going to be seeing with Pascal? Well, as we've discussed previously, we know that the cards, at least on launch, are not going to be using HBM2 because the cores are going to be GP104, and that would be the same in the GTX 1080 and the GTX 1070, which are the two cards which are touted to being hitting the market. Now, supposedly, those two cards are going to have a lot of extra performance. We know they're going to be 16nm FinFET based. What does that mean? Well, theoretically, the GTX 10 80 or the x80 whatever it ends up being called should have comparable performance to the top of the line cards right now which would in video's case be the titan gpu that's a lot of performance obviously we don't know what the pricing is going to be but we do know that the gp um the at least in this case, the GP104s are not going to have HBM2. They're going to stick with GDDR5 or GDDR5X, most likely the, the latter, that would be 5X. And then we're going to see HBM2 coming in with the GP100 range of cards. The GP100 is the equivalent to the GM200, also known as the same core which is in the Titan X, the, GP, the GM200, so many bloody acronyms. The GM200 is the same. Uh, core that's in the Titan X, so in which case the Pascal GP100 is going to be the equivalent of the Titan in that lineup. One weakness we are supposedly hearing about with Pascal's architecture, and it's very difficult to know whether it's going to be ironed out in final engineering samples, whether it's even true to begin with, or whether it's going to make a blind bit of difference in the grand scheme of things, and that is supposedly rumours have it that the Pascal architecture is going to have issues with asynchronous compute. <clears throat> now those issues reared the ugly head when it came to Maxwell, we've discussed that in depth before, and asynchronous compute is incredibly important, at least in some applications. It doesn't take too long to implement, and the performance benefits are in some applications, some games, quite substantial, and we know that asynchronous compute is becoming quite important, especially for games which have been ported from uh, console, because obviously those consoles are using GCN-based architectures. But once again, we don't know whether that's going to be accurate or not, because at the end of the day, they are just reports. The only real reality that we need to worry about as gamers is what NVIDIA actually show. And I think it's fair to say that both Pascal and Polaris at this point, there's a lot of anticipation. And I think that unless these things actually, you know, climb out of our PCs in the morning, make us breakfast and coffee, and then offer to show for us to work, and then climb back into our systems, ready to game, and offer us like 10 million frames a second at 4K, we're going to be a bit disappointed. Maybe I'm slightly exaggerating, but what I'm saying is we have such anticipation on these cards at the moment, and some of it is, well, folks like myself, 
whether it's member of the press, whether it's enthusiasts, the guys on the board, whether it's Nvidia and AMD and all of the bloody slides that they've released, and whether the fact that even you see cards, uh, I'm sorry, not cards, hardware like the, the Oculus Rift and the Vive and the next generation of displays, and we just need this extra performance, so hopefully the cards will deliver it. And Nvidia themselves are actually touting Max, uh, Maxwell to be well, considerably less than Pascal. In fact, there's a slide, a PR slide, which says Pascal 10x Maxwell. Obviously, it's a very pr -y number because they're counting things such as FP16 precision, they're counting bandwidth, they're counting um, just everything under the sun for that. So it's not going to obviously, in reality, perform 10 times faster than Maxwell, but what Pascal will do is it should reduce the power consumption, it should be much more efficient, we should start seeing better um, floating point performance, which was definitely a weakness of Maxwell, and overall we should start seeing a really nice entry into the next generation of GPUs, and AMD hopefully can counter rather hard as well with Polaris, so hopefully it will be a case of you know, both GPUs being really competitive and really good for gaming, because that ultimately is what we want. Anyway, this is also an article if you want to go ahead and check it out. But for now, oh, and that article's linked in the video description, but for now, I'm going to get going. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.